What is going on guys, Pat in the shop, and today's tech tip is rear main seal, one piece rear main seal install on your small block Chevy. Let's check it out. Well, the one piece rear main seal is a superior seal over the two piece rear main seal. Either one will be fine, but either one will leak if installed incorrectly. Believe it or not, the one piece rear main seals are not foolproof and I've had several people contact me about having reoccurring leaks with their one piece rear main seals. And they're kind of bummed out because the reason why we go to these blocks, especially number one, roller cam setup, but number two is the one piece rear main seal. So let me show you what the issue is. This is just mocked up, the seal's not in, and the bolts are just snug, like just finger snug. Um, but what you can see, See the play in here? That's the issue. If we don't uh, center this housing to the crank, it pushes on the seal and can cause premature seal failure or just leaking right off the hop because the seal, the, the seal can't do his job of keeping um, against that crankshaft. So we, what we wanna do is when we install a, a seal and the adapter, we wanna try to center this housing as best we can on that crankshaft. So my preferred rear main seal is a Molly JV1620. There's other brands out there. I've just had really good luck with it. And uh, once you have good luck with something, you like to stick with it. And it comes with a few different things. Let's open this up and take a look. There's going to be a seal, obviously. But there's going to be this. This is actually a, an installation tool to prevent you from damaging the seal when you push it over the crankshaft. So that's a nice bonus with this. And then it comes with a housing gasket. You're going to need a, a tube of this if you don't have it. This is uh, Permatex 51850 uh, anaerobic gasket maker. And there's this reason why you want to use this, uh, especially when we're putting the housing on. We're not going to grab ourselves um, like something thick like right stuff silicone we need something that's a little bit tacky but stays um it's kind of soft so you can use a really thin silicone as well but i just use this i started using it it's worked out really well for me okay. uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that we're just going to apply a little bit in the housing it just helps the seal slide in and if there's any imp imperfections in that old seal housing uh, it, it's going to help that So now we're going to go ahead and uh, install our seal. Uh, this ribbed part goes down into the housing and that lip there goes out. And the anaerobic sealer works as a lubricant and our seal pushes in fairly easy. Take your time, work it in. You want to make sure that it's evenly pushed in all the way around. And then we'll just wipe off. This is our seal installer. I'm gonna put a little dab of oil on there, just on the outside. And then we're gonna just slide that in that way. So it looks something like that, all right? Now we're gonna get our gasket ready. Apply a little bit of the anaerobic sealer to the gasket, and, and you're gonna find out in a second why we do this. And we're gonna, we're gonna make it smooth it all out. So this whole thing is nice and tacky. Make sure your dowel pin's in. You should have a stud on that side. And then install your gasket. It's easier to do it like this than put it on the housing. And then the, what's nice is that tacky gasket maker, it'll all stay in place for you. Now, with your, make sure your seal installer's on. That'll go up against the crankshaft. Line everything up. And you're going to push that on just like that. Your seal installer comes out. So we're going to put all the bolts not on here. You just want to just basically just finger tighten these. And this plate should be able to float around still. So see how it can float around fairly easily. So what we want to do is let it float like that. around, And then just like we do with the LS oil pumps, we're gonna spin the engine around. You can, so there's no rods, this is just the crank in here right now, it's the best time to do this. No rods and pistons, just the crank. Spin it backwards and forwards, that's what I do, I don't know if it really matters. Sometimes I kinda of just wiggle it a little bit. And then we're gonna start snugging these down.
So now that this housing is centered uh, to the crankshaft, if you ever have to change the seal, you can just pop the seal out and replace it. But realistically, if you do everything properly and use a good seal, this seal will last a long time. But if you're, say you're replacing on, a, on an older motor and it's just the remaining seal leaking because it got old and started cracking, don't unbolt the housing because it should be really centered from factory to that crankshaft. And you can just pop the old seal and slide a new one in and using that tool that came with the seal. So uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, let me know how you guys do it. I found this is the best luck for me. I know some guys maybe use feeler blades, certain things like that. Uh, but I use this trick just like we center the LS oil pump. So thanks, guys.